Hello, good day to everybody. I'm quite pleased to be allowed to, and honoured in fact, to be allowed to have a contribution in this very important conference on uh, the necessity of freedom to speak. And I, I come from a country which has a long censorious tradition and a long religious tradition, uh, and the two have been complementary to each other. Uh, they have inherited a culture of fake news, which began with the Bible, which seems to have been the original source of fake news. And since then, uh, based on this fake news, they have built uh, an anti-civilization. And that anti-civilization has directed its energy towards disempowering women, covering up for the abuse of children, uh, discriminating against uh, people of a uh, different sexual orientation from the normal, what they regard as the normal heterosexual uh, sexual relations. And uh, there has been a long struggle against this type of thing in Ireland. And what we had, you only have to think and listen to terms like the Magdalene laundries, the tomb babies, the pedophilia scandal. The rule by Archbishop Char John Charles McQuaid. Ireland was indeed a very strict uh, country filled with religiosity. Uh, at one time, we probably had more priests than we had doctors or school teachers or scientists. Thankfully, it is declining today, and the world will be a much better place without the fake news of religion. An example of how things have moved on for society in Ireland was the recent controversy over the National Maternity Hospital. There were strong suggestions and recommendations from government that the National Maternity Hospital should be rebuilt and given to the nuns who would be in charge of it. There was immediate uproar that, once again, Ireland seemed prepared to throw pregnant women and children to the nuns, who had a long history of abuse. Now the nuns have relinquished any control of the new uh, National Maternity Hospital which has been built, and it's that sort of success that gives us hope. But we need to be vigilant at all times, because the reactionaries, the clerics, the right-wing religious Catholic lobby will try at any time to make a comeback. And in this battle against uh, these type of ideas, the concept of free speech is very important. I know at times we are often called free speech fundamentalists, uh, as if we are no better uh, than the religious fundamentalists whom we criticise. But free speech is the antidote to fundamentalism. It, breaks down narratives, it allows people to think, it allows us to question, and very importantly, as a friend reminded me this morning, it does what John Stuart Mill says it should do, it allows us to get to the truth. Now for years, fake news has been preventing us from getting to the truth, and the longer we insist on the absolute right, the freedom of expression, and the right to be free from censorship, then we will be in a much more advantageous, much more advantageous position within society.